A novel idea, an innovative creation, and a wish to bring in change are the pillars of leadership. Bharat Biotech is a vertically integrated biotech company that enables access to affordable, safe, and world-class vaccines. Ambassadors and high commissioners from around 80 countries will be visiting the headquarters of Bharat Biotech in Hyderabad city. The focus will be on the assessment of India's COVID-19 vaccine development program. India's Ministry of Foreign Affairs says that it is an attempt to familiarize the envoys with key vaccine research being done in the country. The Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has asserted time and again that a COVID-19 vaccine will be ready within weeks. The government has begun mapping out cold chain storage facilities and logistics to ensure quick delivery of the vaccine. This is because most of the vaccine candidates and frontrunners require cold storage with temperatures ranging from 2 degrees Celsius to minus 80 degrees Celsius. Delhi and Hyderabad airports air cargo services are also likely to be rolled in to facilitate mass distribution of these vaccines. The Delhi airport, for instance, is good distribution practice certified. It means that it has the required infrastructure in place to handle temperature-sensitive cargo. The Indian Air Force has also said that it is willing and prepared to pitch in and deliver the vaccine to the farthest end of the country. After the Serum Institute of India, Bharat Biotech also sought approval for restricted emergency use of its vaccine candidate called Covaxin. It is India's first indigenously developed vaccine. The company is now conducting phase 3 trials to determine the efficacy of its candidate, Many vaccines are being produced in countries around the world, but there's only one country that has the manufacturing capacity to produce sufficient quantities to satisfy the demand of citizens in every country, and that's India. India, do you think, can manufacture enough COVID vaccines for the world? I don't think. I know what we saw today is really giving us a lot of the confidence that India is ready and soon we'll see the uh, vaccines and that will not only be for India, it will be for the humanity. One of the biggest achievements for us in 20 years of operations is that we have developed into a multi-product, multi-market and a multi-customer company. Which means that we are not just developing vaccines and therapeutics as one product or in one country, but it's available for the entire world. The mandate that typically we had when we joined this company was to work on new vaccines. And uh, it kind of pretty much simplifies what Barbatech stands for, lead innovation. And the mandate that we have is that we lead and not follow the pipeline of other companies, particularly the MNCs. And uh, to this effect, uh, we've taken strong initiatives, supported and encouraged by the management. And uh, some of the a couple of examples that I want to talk about is the uh, chikungunya vaccine and the Zika vaccine. And uh, we were the early movers in this vaccine field, and we developed new vaccines much ahead of others. Bharat significantly contributed to the eradication of the polio disease burden of India by being one of the major suppliers of the vaccine to the government of India and by distributing this vaccine across the nook and corner of the country. Well, up first news of the vaccine in India and the results of the phase one trial of the COVID vaccine candidate Covaxin developed by Bharat Biotech have shown that the vaccine induced an immune response and did not lead to any serious side effects. The vaccine is currently in phase three trials in India and has applied for emergency use authorization. I must say I was really impressed and the capacity and the capabilities that you saw down there is showing that India has proven its capability and its capacity. We've got good news this morning on the vaccine front. Bharat Biotech's COVID-19 vaccine candidate Covaxin has shown positive results after phase one trials. Interim findings of phase one trials have revealed an induced immune response and has registered no serious adverse events. Now the report added that the vaccine 
administered on two doses, given two weeks apart, induced a neutralizing antibody and was well tolerated in all those groups. The most common adverse event was pain at the injection site, which resolved spontaneously. The, train, uh, the trial was conducted, in fact, across 11 hospitals from diverse geographic locations and socio-economic conditions. The vaccine needs to be stored between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius and is thus in line with all national immunization program whole chain requirements. The vaccine is currently in phase 3 trials. To the latest updates as far as the vaccines are concerned, now Bharat the Biotech, which is developing India's first indigenous vaccine, that's Covaxin, has claimed in a study that the vaccine may provide protection for as long as 6 to 12 months. Remember, these are research findings post phase 2 trials. In a research paper, Bharat Biotech also claimed that no major side effects were reported between phase 1 and 2 trials. The efficacy report of the vaccine will be released only after the completion of the third phase of the trials. Our goal, our vision is to reach the 6 million population of this allergy. We tried to create a complete portfolio of vaccines, which is again one of the distinguishing features of Bharat Biotech as an organization. While our first vaccine was hepatitis B in the early 90s, we have in a short span of about 10 to 15 years, we could develop almost 15 different kinds of vaccines. So that's something very unique characteristic of our company. We have delivered billions of doses to over 100 countries, impacting global public health. Bharat Biotech is a leader in public health. Bharat Biotech, lead innovation. Market cap of just about four hundred million dollars, soaring today, up almost two hundred percent. Had to read that correctly, and that's after reporting positive results for the phase two study of its COVID nineteen vaccine. It's enrolling a phase three study now, and analysts say if all goes well, it could be ready for the public in late spring. And one benefit here: this vaccine only needs to be stored at four to eight degrees Celsius. That means fridge, not freezer.